Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thomas here, scuba travel and adventure. In the last uh, ride, I went to Abraham Lake. That was uh, quite quite great of a ride. It was uh, just about three weeks ago now. So I haven't been riding much uh, in the last three weeks. Uh, I had to spend some time with the family. So yeah, we purchased a camper or a new camper. We got rid of our old one. And uh, as a family, we went camping a couple times. Uh, I woke up early this morning and uh, I'm just outside of Longview, Alberta, uh, getting close to Kananaski country. And uh, today I'm heading to Livingston Falls. I heard of it from online uh, reading. Uh, I was uh, reading a little bit about it online. It is a kind of a remote area and um, I'm not taking the easiest way out there because uh, I could have gone uh, to Highway 22 and uh, turn west from there towards Livingston Falls. Uh, provincial park but instead I'm heading out uh, through a gla gravel and dirt road uh, that um, just up ahead of me here another few kilometers uh, once I get to Kananaskis country so today uh, we woke up and it was seven degrees only and when we were camping a week ago it was uh, plus two at night so the temperatures are dropping. It is uh, mid-September at this point. So I won't really film much more here before I get to Kananaskis country. And uh, I'll jump back with you guys uh, in a bit here. But uh, at the same time, if you are new here on my channel, and uh, if you're watching the content, if you like the content, uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and comment down below to help my YouTube algorithm grow. So we're entering Kananaskis country right now. So the views will start to get better. I didn't film nothing uh, just before a couple kilometers from here because there was no point. Plus I did film it in a previous video. But here there's always hopefully something nice to see. Possibly the mountain goats uh, just here up ahead. Uh, sometimes I see them uh, riding through here. Uh, maybe we get lucky today, I don't know. Last time when I was going here with the family camping, uh, we bumped into a lot of cows in the middle of the road and they took sweet time to get out of here. <laughs> There's always cows here as well. Oh, there they are. Oh, actually that's a mama bear and a bear. Holy crap, let's turn around. Maybe I'll get them on a video. Mama bear in a cab. See, last video I, had, I was filming a bear and now I see one again. I hopefully you can see them. There's a little cub that's black bear. They can smell me, I can see because they're looking at me. Okay, I never seen a bear in this area and I drove here so many times. I know they're here, but never bumped into one. Uh, like last time I on uh, Glacier Parkway, uh, I've seen one and always see them in the uh, Waterton area. Anyways, they're behind the trees eating something. Can't see them really well. Anyway, so let's wrap around and go. Let's go around. They don't really care. They're still there. 
So that's something exciting for a day. Yeah, I was watching uh, Ichi Boots because I follow her. I watch every video from of her, and uh, uh, it was quite uh, quite funny when she saw a bear. I don't think she saw bears before up close uh, until she got here in Canada. <laughs> so yeah, if you follow Ichi Boots, uh, yeah, she's uh, making uh, great content on YouTube, and it's fun to watch. Uh, she's also very knowledgeable um, in geology because that's her profession. She's putting out very informative content. I follow every video of hers um, for two reasons. So one, I love uh, traveling and I love uh, the way she uh, shows everything. And uh, number two, uh, she gives me sometimes ideas um, how to edit my content. I'm still learning as a new uh, content creator. So here we have some nice visibility. It's not as smoky. No, I'm closer to the mountain, so that means the visibility is better. It's actually quite nice, and as you see, you can uh, see, you can start seeing the yellow peaking on the trees. So the fall is approaching. The nights are getting cooler here in the mountains, that's for sure. It's downhill from here. Oh, there we go. There's the cows. And right here up ahead, I got those uh, mountain goats. Look at them go on the rocks. They're all staring at me. Oh, this big guy is looking at me. And there's two more up ahead. Well, oh, they're even tagged. Oh, he's got nice earrings. <laughs> Two earrings. Yeah, munch on that grass. Yummy. And that's a Highway 940 South. And from here on, we got dirt, gravel. Well, it's, it, it is dusty. So that means there was not enough rain here. Would be nice if I can snag a map here. Actually, it is a little bit wet, which is very good. That's perfect. It was just dusty at the beginning. Oh, definitely it's cooling off here. The beauty of the mountains, it's always cooler. Good thing I took uh, additional layers of clothing. I have actually everything with me, my tent, everything. Just in case uh, shit hits the fan on the road, you gotta be prepared when you're riding in a remote area, especially that there is no cell phone coverage out here. 
Oh, it must have rained more here than uh, what I've seen before. This rough out here. <clears throat> and it is wet as I hoped, so that is really, really nice. Uh, but at the same time, it's not too wet, so it's not super muddy. Uh, Livingstone, okay, so we are in Livingstone, so we're gonna look up where is that waterfall here? Has to be around here somewhere. Wow, I made it that quick. I'll go check this out. What's up here? Oh, that's the road. The road is closed. Can't go any further. That's a big cow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she's quite big. They're like everywhere. creek here that's going down the mountains. Oh, that's pretty slippery. And a lot of debris and stuff here on my, behind me. So at some point I have a feeling that the water was heading that way and that's the smaller portion of it and then it split uh, just behind me into two rivers one is on that side and uh, then the other one is heading right here so all that debris that's in front of me here that was brought in by water gushing uh, through here at some point Probably that all changed uh, during the flood in 2013, I'm guessing, because uh, the debris and everything blocked the river and it uh, diverted it uh, to the other side. So that's that river behind me. That's, uh, that's where it's uh, coming from. That's the main chunk of it. Just right here behind me right now, that's where it's splitting into two. Uh, one section goes over here and the other one goes the other way but before it used to be probably all one big river so that's the Livingstone Falls not the Livingstone Falls in Australia or New Zealand I don't remember where exactly is the big one but Livingstone Falls in Alberta Canada they had to be quite big at some point. Beautiful day, early fall. I, 
I have to take the opportunity and uh, get myself a cup of coffee here. Take a little break before I start heading back home. And we will use that nano press. I love this little machine. I still pl I'm still planning to do one more ride with the camping trip. Uh, there's a actually I might be even consider I might be even considering coming out here for a night uh, to test the new sleeping bag that I got and I'll do also a review on my camping gear um, since the last review I upgraded a few things so I would like to go over and I'll show you guys what I'm using when I'm traveling I can't stay over tonight even though I do have a tent and everything what more can you ask for nothing better than being a wild and enjoying the day So yeah, I'm hoping to get out uh, one more time this year, somewhere, well, I'm hoping, I will be riding more on a bike, that's for sure, but uh, I want to do a couple of days uh, probably somewhere here in Kananaskis and uh, take the advantage of the fall weather. Uh, I like this season uh, probably the most, uh, just too bad it's so short here in Canada. It lasts only a couple of weeks uh, before winter hits in. And same thing with the spring, uh, I like the spring. So I'll wrap up this video guys uh, for today. Uh, I will probably film some more on the road, but in the meanwhile, if you are new to the channel and you enjoy my, uh, and you enjoy my content, don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. So we have uh, 85 kilometers to Nanton. <laughs> They're staring at me. It's a beautiful view coming down here. I made a video a while back. Well, that was my first ride of the season this year. Uh, I believe it was like February or March. There was still snow out here. And uh, I was heading towards Indian Graves. 
and I managed to get up here and there was still snow on the sides uh, though they just barely opened that road or maybe that was later on maybe uh, March April I don't remember now exactly but uh, coming down here the view is just out of this world it's spectacular it's just beautiful just check this out up ahead uh, I managed to get a little bit of a drone footage unfortunately uh, this area right on top it's always really windy so I was afraid to fly too far not to lose the drone like I did uh, when I was heading towards the plane crash uh, near Coleman not worth the risk because uh, the winds are at, uh, on top I, when I checked the, the application it was saying uh, 45 uh, kilometer gas and for a little drone that's uh, quite a bit to handle I still managed to get a little bit of footage but uh, you never know in those situations when you lose the drone it sucks especially when you're a beginner youtuber it's just beautiful Oh, we got the mountain goats again. They're just lying on the road. I'm gonna slow down. I wonder if they're gonna even get up because they, they don't seem like they are in a... Oh, there's a little baby. Check this out. Oh, there's another one. I hope you're gonna grow up before the snow comes in or you're gonna have a hard time to survive. What are you eating? On the road, rocks? <laughs> salty rocks? There's no, it couldn't be even salty because that section is closed in the winter. <laughs> I guess they're not too scared of uh, cars or vehicles. Just coming down the hill. Okay, thank you. Oh yeah, it looks like there was a wash off. <laughs> 